Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound AlOH3. Now here's a trick, guys. If you see that your compound has three or more different elements in it, you know you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's easiest to identify the polyatomic ion first and then go from there. But polyatomics are never on the periodic table. They have to be memorized. So what I did is I wrote down the polyatomic that we're going to see in our case here, all right? So whenever you see you have an OH, that always has a negative one charge, and that polyatomic is always called hydroxide. So here's the OH right here. Cool. The only other element that we need to identify is what is aluminum, Al. But if we go on the periodic table, we notice that aluminum is over here. It's below the staircase, right? You should see a staircase if you're looking at your periodic table. Anything to the left of that staircase are metals, excluding hydrogen. So this one is a weird one, guys, but just know that aluminum is a metal. So I'm going to group that as a metal. And now we're ready to name. Aluminum comes first because it's stated first. And the metal, no matter what it is, always stays the same. The, the name always stays the same. So I'm going to just say aluminum or aluminium if we're across the pond, right? I know that that's a huge thing. But in here, you know, in the United States, we say aluminum. Okay, uh, aluminum. I believe it's even spelled differently. But on my periodic table, it's spelled like this. Aluminum. Okay, cool. Then the next thing is polyatomic ion. And those names always stay the same. So that's why you just got to memorize them. OH is always hydroxide. So I'm going to leave it like that. Hydroxide. And now since it's ionic, let's just make sure. Do we need a Roman numeral or not? Roman numeral is always for transitional metals, right? Or the tra yeah, transition metals in this block. Aluminum is not part of the transition metals. So we do not need a Roman numeral. So we're done. So I could just box this off, guys. So AlOH3 is just aluminum hydroxide. And there you go. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope you guys are doing well out there. All right, let me know in the comments, you know, how you're doing in your chem class. And we also have physics and math videos at the moment, so you could go check those out. Uh, thank you so much, and I will see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.